guys, remember the last cricket match between India and West Indies? All our batsmen were at the top of their game and we won rather gracefully. A fair amount of strategic planning goes behind every cricket match. Apart from the numerous batting, bowling and fielding specific strategies, the order of the batsmen is always quite crucial to a team's victory. Of the 11 players on a team, the first 5 batsmen are expected to score the maximum run and drive the team to victory. The batsmen at the 6th, 7th and 8th position are generally all-rounders, which essentially mean they'll both descend batsmen and good bowlers. The tail-enders are mostly expert bowlers, but not great batsmen. If this arrangement is altered, it can affect a team's performance to a great extent. Just like the batsmen on a cricket team are sorted in order of expertise, metals too are arranged in order of reactivity. This arrangement of metal in decreasing order of chemical reactivity is called the metal activity series. Although a non-metal, hydrogen is in Hydrogen is used for its ability to give away its electrons and form a positively charged ion like metals do. Since elements are arranged in decreasing order of their reactivity, the metals at the top like potassium and sodium are extremely reactive while those at the bottom like silver, gold and platinum are the least reactive. Therefore, to keep them from reacting with air, sodium and potassium are always stored in kerosene or mineral oil. Jewelry made of gold or platinum, on the other hand, is not affected by air or water. Reactions involving metals at the start of its series require no external energy or heat to take place. In fact, they have such tremendous vigor to react that they release heat energy during reactions. Such reactions are called exothermic reactions. Reactions involving metals at the bottom of the series require a fair amount of external energy like heat to take place. Such reactions are called endothermic reactions. Remember displacement reactions? Displacement reactions are those wherein one element displaces the other to form a new compound. In this reaction, the more reactive iron displaces the less reactive copper to form green ferrous sulphate. Remember, only the elements placed higher in the metal activity series can displace another element in a chemical reaction. Well, that's all for today, guys. See you next time.